Because of the following special program, WKRP in Cincinnati and Lou Grant will not be presented this evening. The following program was recorded at an earlier date for broadcast at this time. Okay, we ready, guys? Oh, and one, two, three. And now sit back, relax, and get ready to laugh and cry. And this show, show is brought to you by James Hong's homemade soy sauce pie. Wait, what? 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 Yes. Yeah. yeah. What? Product placement? Really? What? Someone has to pay for all this. What? But all this, well, what the hell does James Hong, most notably known as David Lopin in Big Trouble in Little China, Balls of Fury, the guy who stabs himself in an airplane, plays a bad guy in Tango and Cash, was Faye Dunaway's butler in Chinatown, and was the Seinfeld 4 guy on the Chinese restaurant episode of Seinfeld, have to do with our show? ADHD at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Scott, there's a bee on your head. Hey, 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 don't start that again. All right. Yeah, and just leave the product placements and endorsements to me. <sighs> gentlemen. Gentlemen, it's time to go on. Gentlemen, let's go. It's time to go on today. Dumbasses. Yeah, all right, let's go. By the way, why am I the only one that's dressed up here? I dressed up. I got this for like $20 at Kohl's in the clearance section. Yeah, but I mean, when you do something like this, you're supposed to be in like a tuxedo and junk. I didn't even know we were doing this. I came here to get some weed. You wrote the music. Oh, give me some. I thought it was a challenge or something. You know what? I got this covered. It's, all right, look, 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 wait. Okay? Still terrible. Getting better. Hold on. It's not easy. All right. So yeah. Good Let's enough. Do I'm, it. Sur I'm surprised you did that much. Hello, Cleveland! Welcome. 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 Welcome to our show. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, who really should not be here tonight for this show, we'll scar them for life. Welcome one and all to the first annual Frankenzone Award Show. Fuck me. And now, here are your hosts, Jason Pritchard, Scott Johnson, and that guy who looks like Marlon Brando in the aisle of Dr. Moreau. Oh, thank you, and welcome to our first soon-to-be annual Oscars night. Hey, hey, where's Mark? Who cares? Yes, folks, this is the night the stars come out to shine, thanks to all that plastic surgery. <laughs> and tonight, we're going to pay tribute to some of the most memorable film moments that we feel went above and beyond the call of excellence. Uh, yeah, who, seriously, where is Mark? It's his line. Uh, 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 no, 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 please, I, I, just, I just read what's... Hey, 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 ah! Mark! Okay. Welcome. Mark, everyone. So sit back, relax, and get ready for the only award show that doesn't kiss Meryl Streep's ass. <laughs> and enjoy the show right after this. Time to make the donuts. Dunkin' Donuts are always fresh. I made the donuts. We make them at least twice every day. Time to make the donuts. Not a few kinds, like supermarkets. Hey, the donuts. Time to make the donuts. But up to 52 varieties. The donuts. <laughs> Time to make the donuts. I made the donuts. Dunkin' Donuts, up to 52 varieties, fresh day and night. No supermarket can say that. Tired of those unwanted stains on your knockoff discount rug? I have guests coming over in 15 minutes and my child just killed our nanny. What do I do? Try new Mina Savari carpet cleaner. Gets rid of grease, chocolate, and unwanted body fluids from that one night you got drunk and fooled around with a pool boy. Wow, thanks Mina Savari carpet cleaner. Think you can get rid of the stain on my son's soul? Ha ha, kids. Mina Savari carpet cleaner. Make stains disappear just as fast as your career. May not get rid of like stains. There are certain singers and performances that seem to stand out amongst the rest. 
a single musical moment that adds a little extra flair to the tone or atmosphere of a movie's mood. Sort of like a fart during a church service. <laughs> Here are our nominees for best solo performance. Kermit the Frog, Rainbow Connection. Grave Robber from Repo the Genetic Opera. Purple spandex wearing sax player, The Lost Boy. And the award goes to, of course, purple spandex wearing sax player from The Lost Boy. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Accepting the award is the purple spandex wearing guy saxophone, Kevin. Wow, this is unexpected. Last time I got this much attention was when I filed that sexual harassment suit against Max Trumpet. It's Denzel Washington's trumpet in Mo' Better Blues. Um, I'd like to thank the Academy for this award and to all my fellow nominees. And of course, the guy in purple spandex for blowing me. Into! <laughs> blowing into me! <laughs> oh, hello, viral video, am I right? Oh man, that's gonna come back to haunt me. Wow. Um. Makeup artists and CGI specialists allow us to see things beyond our reality. They challenge our minds and perceptions of what is real and what is really not real. Yes, these wizards of the industry cast spells of latex and molded plaster or click a few incantations on a keyboard and open up worlds and creatures to us that normally would be absent for our lives. The following nominees uh, for Best Transformations or Special Effects are David Naughton in An American Werewolf in London Jennifer Lawrence as Mystique in X-Men Carrot Top in, well, just Carrot Top And the award goes to, seriously, you can't even seal this freaking thing? Alright uh, Wait, what? Car Carrot Top? What the? Accepting the award for Carrot Top is Carrot Top's plastic surgeon and his personal trainer. Uh, on behalf of uh, Mr. Uh, Tap, we would like to thank the Academy for this uh, gracious award. I, I mean, honestly, <clears throat> I, I don't even know what happened exactly. I do? You? I don't remember. You know, same thing here, man. Mm. I mean, I just suggested he might want to bulk up a bit, you know? I mean,. Celebrities being stalked and all, figured he might want to beef himself up, you know, I mean, in case you end up having to throw down or something, you know, but man, he just went all crazy with them weights and, uh, you know, like an addict or something, you know? Um, I, I think we can assume that they know. Personally, I, I think we should have had um, some of those enhancements maybe tested. I mean, wow, to look at him now, I mean... Oh, that face, like, yes, Virginia, there is a Pennywise, am I right? It's <laughs> just, <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's like uh, something puked up Ronald McDonald's, like, conjoined mutated twin or something, you know? Yeah, we, yeah, we know, we know, like a large pot roast that some clown shit out. Sort of like if He-Man and Raggedy Ann, you know, did it. Uh, it was as if two circus clowns had... Uh, like you know, sex on a Ouija board and, and gave birth to that then like that thing they just like fed it a bunch of steroids and bacon grease or oh, bacon. Uh, at one point we like brought it one of them exercising demon people you know we did yeah to, to help there, there is no god I can tell you that much I mean oh, there there it is folks right there that face oh. that everything yeah. yeah, there is no God. But, uh, uh, anyway, uh, thanks, thanks, thanks. 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 Go. Guy looks familiar. Sometimes in film we learn to expect the unexpected. Films often contain plot surprises or character twists. Janet Lee's death in Psycho. The ending to The Usual Suspects. Leah Thompson having sex with Howard the Duck. And of course, random musical dance numbers. That's right, these steps of fancy often appear in the strangest of places at any given time. Sometimes they work, 
and sometimes they just plain Spider-Man 3 suck. <laughs> Here are the nominees for Best Randomly Placed Dance Sequence. John Travolta and Uma Thurman in Pulp Fiction. The cast of Clerks 2. The foot soldiers in the background in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. Never used their ninja weapons once in that movie. Not one. Anyway, I don't know. And the award goes to... The Foot Soldiers Dancing and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. Sure, why not? Accepting the award is Foot Soldier Gary Schrudenvoss, former Russian ballet dancer turned lethal ninja assassin. Uh, I want to thank Academy for uh, American Award. Uh, dance was very complicated. Uh, we were like your slutty cheering ladies in your American football. Uh, the way we cheered on our fellow ninja to white American men in large Vaba turtle costume. Uh, very nice. In Russia, we have Cold War and Tyranny, but here you can wear a turtle costume while other men dance in purple pajamas and make millions. Uh, this is why we hate you all. Dolce Veti. Stay tuned, more to come right after this. Yes, we still have 15 more minutes of this crap left. Next on Cheers, Coach is excited about his wedding. But will Sam make it a real screamer? <laughs> and on Night Court, when Harry's in trouble for clowning around, will his friends come to the rescue? Then on Hill Street Blues, when a cop killer is released, will he seek revenge on Joyce? He gives you any reason at all, roused him. Next. Drink this and die. Energy soda, the only soda that's twice the caffeine of other energy drinks with a double shot of espresso, three dump truck fats of sugar, and most likely laced with cocaine, crack, or a chemical so dangerous just saying its name will make your ass explode while your eyes, nose, ears, and nipples bleed profusely. Drink this and die. The most extreme, awesome, totally tubular, radical, bogacious drink ever released from a lab in the back alley of Mustn't Be. Drink this and die. All your friends are doing it, so be cool and do it too. Die. Girls will have lots of awesome sex with you if you drink this stuff. Drink this and die. The only drink that will literally kill you with the very first sip, but girls will totally have lots of totally sex with you if you totally drink this and die. Did I mention all your favorite sports heroes are drinking it? Your insides will be turned to liquid sh the moment you swallow it. But think of all those hot sports heroes and how they'll all have sex with you, drink this and die. Now available with cherry flavor. Sometimes actors and actresses delight us with surprise moments in their performances that grab the Academy's attention. Whether it's going off script, improvising, or making that I just totally farted and the cameras are still rolling and no one can smell it because I eat nothing but tofu sprouts, so we're just gonna go with this take face. Or something more simple like animal impressions. And for us here at the Franken Zone, we love our animal impressions. Enough to have an award made for them, in fact. The nominees for best animal impressions are Michelle Pfeiffer as a cat in Batman Returns. Nick Frost as Clyde the Orangutan in Shaun of the Dead. Tommy Wiseau as a chicken in the room. And the award goes to... Well, this has Mark written all over it. Tommy Wiseau as the chicken in the room. That's right, baby. Accepting the award for Tommy Wiseau are his parents, Stan and Helen Weisserstein. We'd like to thank Tommy for allowing us to accept this award on his behalf while he's back in the lab having DNA, his DNA tested for extraterrestrial traits. That's right. Yeah, I, I don't know what the hell happened with him. I mean, when Helen and I conceived the guy, we were both on a lot of drugs. I mean, when she gave birth to that freaking thing. It's I'm not that we don't love him. It's just that, well, we're deathly afraid of him. Well, well, yeah, I mean, don't ask why he looks that way or even sounds that way. We're, we're, we're about as foreign as Pat Boone. I mean, I, I've never been outside New York, yet, yet alone Yugoslavia or wherever the hell that thing came from. Boom, there he is. Frankenstein meets a catfish. Oh, thanks anyway. Mm. Inbreeding. Music has always been an important part of films. Sometimes the soundtrack of a movie is the character itself. 
Take the classic two note danger riff for Jaws or the manic screeching of Psycho. Mm. Movie soundtracks are something we here at the Franken Zone always hold dear and as such we present you with the nominees for soundtrack in a film. E.T. The Extraterrestrial Man of Steel The Birds? Birds. Um, okay, all right, and of course, let's see, it is the birds. Okay, all right, who was this? Scott, was this one you? I love that soundtrack. Uh, no, there's no music in this at all. What are talking about, I have it on my iPod. No, there's nothing but birds. Like, really, literally no music. You're not listening with your ears, man. To what, circus music? What, what's the matter with you? No, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing in this. Art Garfunkel said it best, the sounds of silence. So moving on, our next award is inspired by one of the most wonderful moments we can find in almost all movies. I'm of course referring to the reconciliation scene. Uh -huh. uh, when friction occurs between two powerful characters and tension grows thicker than Mark's body after every can of cheese dip eaten. <laughs> Booyah! It's always a heartfelt moment when these characters put aside their differences for the greater good or for true love. Uh, yeah. Here are the nominees for best reconciliation scene. Does anybody have any cheese dip? Come to think of it. You ate it all. Shit. Okay. Jack Nicholson and Helen Hunt in As Good As It Gets. Batman and Superman in Batman vs. Superman. Trey Parker and Matt Stone in Basketball. Again, that last one was not supposed to be there, I'm assuming. Well, whatever. The award goes to... All right, Trey Parker and Matt Stone in Basketball. Accepting the award for Trey Parker and Matt Stone is the Malaka Laka Balance Board of Trust. Life is about balance. And that's what I brought to the movie. Balance. For everything is about balance. Balance in life. Balance in love. Balance in nature. Balance in balance. For without balance, we would have no balance. Oh, and also shop now for all half-off price milk and snatch and save supermarkets. Can someone help me off stage, please? Thank you. Fucking all this shit. Oh, animation allows us to imagine the impossible. There are no limits to the worlds we can visit. With the help of state-of-the-art animation and the creative minds of animators all over the world. From Disney castles and talking to mice, to dogs going to heaven, and a lot of horny Japanese tentacle demons, animation has become one of the most expressive forms of storytelling since Caveman first carved on walls with no more than some mud, ash, heart and soul, and sometimes with their feces. Uh, here are the nominees for best animation in a motion picture. One. Rock and roll. Titanic, the animated movie. The Star Wars Holiday Special. Well, somebody must know something. Okay. And of course, the award goes, hold on. And of course, the award, no, wait a minute, I'm doing this. And of course, the award goes to the Star Wars Holiday Special. All right. Accepting the award as one of the animators for the Star Wars Holiday Special, Walt Disney's lesser-known brother, Rodney Disney. I've been asleep in the gutter for the past 30 years or so, and they paid me five bucks, and I was doped up on so much shit. After being discharged from NAM, I don't even remember what the f I was drawing so f Lucas bring my work and try to burn it like your little dirty whore of a secret you Ewok looking mother 
money grubbing fucking. Somebody come out here and get me out of here. Well, oh, they're playing. Uh, thank you. We'll return to our show right after a word from our sponsor. Yes, we actually get paid for oh, putting shit. this on television. Oh, shit. It certainly is a big bun. It's a very big bun. Big fluffy bun. It's a very big fluffy bun. Where's the beef? Some hamburger places give you a lot less beef on a lot of bun. Where's the beef? At Wendy's, we serve a hamburger we modestly call a single. And Wendy's single has more beef than the Whopper or Big Mac. At Wendy's, you get more beef and less bun. Hey, where's the beef? I don't think there's anybody back there. You want something better. You're Wendy's kind of people. Have a claims dispute to settle? Have you once sped into an auto accident? Fear not, citizens of Earth. Captain J. Rogers, attorney at law, will make sure you get whatever financial compensation you deserve. Call now at 1-800-GIZNORT and set up your free consultation. Whatever it is, a hit or run, fender bender, or someone has frozen one of your relatives in carbonite to ship off an intergalactic bounty hunter, Captain J. Rogers will fight with the strength of a thousand serb flaps to get you financial compensation. So hail frequencies and engage warp speed to your telephone device and call me at 1-800-GIZNOT for Captain J. Rogers, attorney at law in Space Explorer. Okay, you, you can cut. Only on TV Nine. There's an old adage, a movie is only as good as its villain, and we here at the Franken Zone couldn't agree more. Villains are often more interesting than the hero in their complexity, mystery, and of course, their danger. Whereas the hero's main objective often remains the same in its moral composition, a villain can be anyone or anything. And of course, in movies, some of the most effective villains are those who hide behind masks. Here are the nominees for Best Horror Masked Villain. Michael Myers from Halloween. Jason Voorhees from the Friday the 13th movies. The Devil Mask in Satan's Little Helper. And the award goes to, you know where this is going. The Devil's Mask and Satan's Little Helper. Accepting the award is the actor who played the little boy in Satan's Little Helper. <sighs> okay, I'd like to thank the Academy for this wonderful... You know, guys, this is really ridiculous. This joke is getting really freaking old. Ugh. Can I want another? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm. oh, yeah. Sink in their pockets. The power, of, the power of a black and white movie is still something special. It's classy, crisp, and brings us back into the golden age of cinema. Even today, in our ultra-violet world of color and effects, there's still something artistic and powerful in watching a movie in black and white. Here are our nominees for Best Modernized Black and White Film. Steven Spielberg's Schindler's List. David Lynch's Eraserhead. James Cameron's Avatar. Wait, wait, Avatar? How did that? And the award goes to... Yeah, let me guess. James Cameron's Avatar. Bingo. 
God, Avatar is like one of the most colorful movies of all time. What? What are you talking about? You remember, right? All those bright blues and pinks and junk? I saw the movie, it was black and white. It's classic. Can we not have him pick these in the future, please? Ho hold on. Scott, what color is this paper? Purple. There you go. Uh, Scott, you should probably see a doctor about that. What, my hemorrhoids? Oh crap, who told you? <sighs> okay, after extensive study of our current nomination, lots of discussions, conferences, and many coins flipped in the air, we have narrowed down the nominees for the best film, and they are as follows. The Shape of Water. Get out. I and, and, and this footage we found behind a rundown gas station dumpster. Is anybody in here? Melting skin. Piss <laughs> off, the studio's closed. God, I think you cracked a rib. You mean the film's done? Oh, for the love of God, kill me now. Oh and God. the award goes to... No. Oh no, no. <laughs> you know what, you know this. Footage we found behind a gas station dumpster. Damn it. <laughs> All right, all right. We have wasted everyone's time, and now we've given out the awards for it. That's right. See? Now that's a movie full of color. <laughs> uh, anyhow, and I want to thank everybody for enjoying our show, and we'll probably be not doing this again next year, seeing as how I am going to kill my two co-hosts. Here. Now, good night, everybody. I love you. <laughs> you guys! Oh, boy. oh gosh, it's running tonight. We hope you enjoyed the first annual Frankenzone Awards. Stay tuned for the premiere of the new John Luckett series, Honey, I Ate My Dog and Then Fell in Love with a Tennis Ball. 